Good. They jerk it. Whose comedy sketch was that? It's like, it's not the way I'm going out. You're going to find me with my dick in my hand with a rope around my neck. Not happening. Well, dude, it's David Carradine and the lead singer of NXS both died the same exact way. Yeah, it must feel podcast? amazing if you're 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 gonna risk death. Has this podcast started? No. God damn it! You wanted to? We'll start right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's start it. All right, three, two, I one. I see. Oh. <laughs> Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, that's right. Welcome back to the Gentlemen's Den. Kayla, Jeff, and Sean back here in the den for another week of fun-filled shit. Nanananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananan
Most of the dogs now. The fur and babies. Are mine very isn't popular. anything because I have to start putting more shit on there. I, I and I'm I'm very upset because people used to send me TikTok stuff and mm-hmm. I could view it, but now that I don't know if they changed something. They might have because Probably. I can't view it anymore. I have to have a TikTok to watch. Which makes no sense. It can't be true, though. because It is true. When you send me stuff, I cannot view it because it tells me to log into TikTok. It sends me right to the app, and I have to mm. download the app. Yeah, that's weird. And I refuse. It's all right. But I'm weak, so I probably will. I feel like you need to for your shoes. The only time we've been kind of ahead, not really ahead of the game, but close to the ahead of the game was when we first started the podcast. Because we, I was able to really hop on and get us onto all the platforms pretty quickly. Mm-hmm. Now it's a, f- it's a bitch. Because I looked into it again to My do, because I was going to do a separate Small Town Infamous podcast, which was basically me just saying, hey, stop being a depressed bitch all the time. How dare you. But instead, I get to be with my friends. <laughs> positive. Positive. Don't you have a positive mental attitude? I do have a positive mental attitude, but sometimes yeah, let's go. Sometimes you get kicked in the ding ding dong. Mm-hmm. <sighs> but what kicks you in the ding ding dong? It it doesn't matter, really. Like you, what just you triggers? Be, I'm. I, it 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 could be. I'm intrigued by it because I don't. It could be one simple thing, dude. It could be getting cut off in traffic and all of a sudden your fucking day is That's just it. shit. Mm-hmm. I try not. I've I've been a lot better. I mean, don't get me wrong. I still rage out. And what? Driving in the car, man. People are so bad. Holy shit. Driving, driving behind by people now is just rough. Like... <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it's we're like declining as a society. I'm waiting for people just to start beating each other over the head with clubs. Like cavemen. Cave babies. But no, yeah, it's it it it's weird because every now and then you'll just be i I'll be sitting there just fine and I'll see something that triggers something that's you know in Deep in the fucking brain that gets pushed to the front, and I got to battle that for a little while. And that's honestly, that's what journaling's helped out a lot with that too, because it gets out of my head then. Writing it, yeah, writing it down, and it gets it out. Which I gotta do some more of that. Should we pause this? Should we no, no, not at all. Down? No, not at all, dude. Don't I'm, pause it. I'm going to fall asleep. No, I'm in, I'm in a really you, good honey. mood. I had a good day. Oh, we had a wild. Yeah, man. it was a good day today. It was a really good day today. Weather was perfect, man. If it was, if it could stay that temperature all year long. Yeah, it's nice. I would be all right with that. Went to uh, Rock the Lake. That was a fun time. The band was uh, a vanilla. Band? Yes. But it wasn't bad, though. They were no. boring. Very boring. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, yeah. It was. Uh, it's hard when the band is boring because you're like, <sighs> if you're gonna be the front man, if you're just begging for crowd participation the entire yeah. time, it's like, why don't you just? Like, well, also sing you, some better songs. I also, don't know. you gotta ha- you gotta be charismatic if you're a front man of a band. You have to not just stand behind a microphone and read the lyrics off of a iPad a screen. Do you think they were a new band? No, they're not. Well, they, see, that's surprising to me. Like a new band, I get it. Like, because why are you reading the lyrics? I don't. They played at Touch when Larry owned it, and that's like almost ten years ago now. So they might have been. They probably played at Touch like fifteen years ago. Jesus. So they've been. A, they played that benefit we did for my buddy that lost his leg. Eileen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you have a legless buddy? Yeah, he uh, got into a car accident on his way to work, and the truck rolled over his leg. Oh, Jesus. And, yeah. That benefit was fun. I felt like the, yeah, I just felt like they were like a new band. There was no, like. It was. They it, were just, the entire time, they were just begging for crowd participation. You can't, and. Bad. 
Like, even when we would DJ every now and then, we'd have to be like, hey, dance floor is open. Well, then you'd have to play the dance floor Packers. Yes. The Suavemente. The oh, Cuba boy. Shuffle. You play Suavemente <laughs> when back in the day, man. It didn't matter if you were what color you were. You were on the dance floor, salsa, and you're all soft. What else have we been up to? I don't know. I'm going to be honest. I am like stupidly tired. Kayla, I know. I, we need you right now. I know. It's because I anchor. was so hammered last night and then I was hung over <laughs> all day. And now I'm just tired. You're out in the sun tanning your cheeks. My, in my eyes, I'm just like. Don't you dare. Can I just talk with my eyes closed? I'd be okay. No. Kayla, Kayla locked the door to the bedroom and everything. She was on one yesterday. Oh, yeah. I slept in the couch. I didn't even dry the door. I just knew my place. <laughs> Which is awesome because when we first started dating, and this was like a frequent occurrence because I was just a psychopath. Asshole. Yeah. Well, you know, a lot of trauma. I don't know. A lot, lot of uh, getting that Kenosha out of you. Yeah. So uh, he used to come and sleep in the bed even when I would tell him to fuck off that I didn't want him near me. He would purposely come and sleep in the bed, and oh my god, it would piss me off so much. I will tell you right now, if I was a super, if my, if if I could toot my own horn right now, my superpower would be patience. You do, yeah, yeah. Yes, Axel. He does have a lot of patience. All he need, <laughs> all he needs is patience. It's just a little patience. That's it. Yeah. Oh, my superpower is patience, and it is. It's just patient person you are very much so i love you honey even though you made me sleep on the couch last night oh fuck you you <laughs> slept on it i thought i, I made chose you, the couch i thought i made you were you cuddling sleep you know i wanted to my boss i thought i made him sleep on the couch but the fact no. that you put yourself on the couch without even knowing that i locked you Does out that of the make room you even angrier <laughs> knowing you're like i'm gonna get this motherfucker and i just didn't no well try. no because when i woke up this morning like Bella was in our bed. And so, which she was when I went to bed. But when I woke up this morning with a raging headache, uh, I'm like, where the fuck is Jeffrey? And I like, it took a good probably 10 minutes. She for apologized me to, like, to me multiple look times. At the door and go, oh, that's right. <laughs> that was very big of you, hon. I appreciated that. What? I felt like an asshole. I was an asshole. I well, things happen. Yeah, it's like I said, you, it's those are those days are so few and far between now. Yeah, I don't where, know. Where I was you, a dick well, yesterday. Well, it's relationships, I'm sorry. man. It's, it's the ebbs and flows. Ebbs and flows. And Not every day is a fucking great and day. I, and honestly, married. Jeff and I sat down here for another half hour talking. It. Well, it's funny because I woke up and after I realized, like I remembered what happened, I went... Oh shit! <laughs> the fucking podcast. I I, I was ho- like, oh. I just I just want a clip of you taking your headphones off. When I just said I'm done. Yep. She's done. I just want I just want that <laughs> clipped because I wish I wish we had a camera facing from behind us to in the walk away oh, because shit. there was some stomping and just. <laughs> well, I don't even think I could see straight. Like, it was bad. And I was just like, there she goes. <laughs> we'll be I, back tomorrow. I 100% blame uh, the beach bar. <laughs> I really, I, I Uncle mean. Uncle George's? Again, no, so many facts. George's. Just George's. George's. Uncle George's is less uh-huh. than Okay. Okay, cool. It's just George's. Oh. It's fucking beach bar. It is beach bar. Just like it'll always be crows, and it will. Always and shout be out touched. to you, Sean, for uh, your karaoke prowess. So you know, <laughs> when when you got it, you, if you see karaoke and you hear people just butchering songs, because that's what it was. I mean, no offense. And I love okay and saying, but. I love our friends, right? And then when Ashley came up and she's like, "I love coming here because I'm like the." best singer and she's like so proud <laughs> and it was like a bunch of cats being strangled in a fucking duffel bag <laughs> I, was I, don't, like, oh. I don't remember her saying that 
Oh, oh she, yeah. Oh, she was very proud. Right, be, right before she sang Strawberry Wine. <laughs> yeah. See, so that's why I won't do karaoke by myself is because everybody is hammered when they do it. And they think they sound great. I don't know. I, I think I crushed don't. medium pace. Yeah, no, that was good. I yeah, the acoustics were off. There's I, no monitor. You know what was hilarious about that, though, too? is I saw something Barstool put out, and I swear to God, it was Beach Bar. Because it was the screen. Yeah. Like how he had set up, because it was YouTube. And it was a rap, and there was a kid outside rapping the song through the <laughs> screen into a <laughs> microphone. No. And it was like a young kid. Like he was probably the boy's age, maybe younger. But I was dying because I'm like, man, that really looks like Beach Bar. Probably was. <laughs> I don't so we've been doing some deep research. And uh, yeah, tonight. Tonight was a night. It was a fun night. So we went to Rock the Lake. Which Good is an adventure. Which is a, you know, just like every town, it's got a little, they usually have something in the park kind of deal. It was after the ski show. And then we went to the local pub. And uh, we live in a very small town. A town of 6,000 people. It's a village, mm-hmm. it's a, as it, you would call it. So in back in the day, it used to be a like vacation town, like a summer, t- you know. I feel like it still is. A little bit. Well, most of the homes now are full-time homes, so there was a lot of just cottages. And That's cabins. how I ended up moving here. My grandparents had a cottage up here, and then we ended up moving up here, and we ended up meeting some South Africans tonight. <laughs> tonight, tonight at the bar, and that was f- fucking awesome. I know. Now again, imagine if I would have stuck to what you said to me. How you doing? Keep it moving, Kayla. Don't pick up strays. There's a time and a place for that, Kayla. When we're in <laughs> Vegas and you're talking to crackheads. What? So many stories, though. Yeah. When when we were at home talk to whoever you want yeah mm. i feel like that's even worse what that's our hometown it's not how it goes i don't know but it was a good time it was a very good time and how funny was it that i i wore the cky hat for the first time in months and dude just kept playing cky songs out of nowhere oh, mm-hmm. it was the same two songs but still he was playing them that's all he knew Good time. So it was Ben and Randy? Yes. Yes. I got there late because I went to dinner and with by myself. With by myself. <laughs> with by myself. With with all, all my friends in my head. And uh Who did you go? I went by myself to go get dinner. I was hungry. Right, but you went there for a reason. Yeah, I went and saw a, a former bartender from the 1903 days that is working over there. Which is? I'm not putting out names, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Give it up, Sean. No, I went and saw a friend and had a couple cocktails, watched the end of the hockey game, which Edmonton beat the shit out of Florida. Is it the Stanley, Stanley Cup okay. Stanley Cup finals? Edmonton was down 3 0 and they in the series and won a won a game just like Yesterday with Dallas beating, well, technically it would be Friday. Celtics. Dallas beat the Celtics by like 30, and they were down 3-0. Oh, jeez. And Edmonton tonight won. Like, They're down 3 too? Yeah, and Edmonton tonight won 7-1, to which means they go back to Florida, and Florida's just going to stomp, stomp their asses at home, <laughs> at home and that – this is th- this is the time of year that I hate sports wise, because it's a month before training camp starts for NFL. So is it? Are the Bears really doing hard knocks? Yes. All right, I'm pumped for that. We have a reason to watch hard knocks. Yeah. Like I had a reason last year because I wanted to see what Aaron. Rod- you know, I felt what- like the Bears were like so against hard knocks for so long. I think I think it was the culture in the building. It's kind of turning around. 
I love Hard Knocks because I, I like to see the behind the scenes. I like documentaries and I like, well, that I was like, like to see the like, you know, that's that, like when I used to buy the DVDs, I would buy the the one with all the special features and shit because I, I, I like to see how the sausage you, is. Made. Yes, <laughs> basically. And that's like all documentaries, though. Like I just watched I just finished watching Bratz. So I love watching fucking Hard Knocks. So I love the behind the scenes shit. Well, because Bratz, and also Bratz is about the Brat Pack. So Rob Lowe and uh, Demi Moore. What's that on? Hulu. Prime Hulu. Hulu. Uh, Demi Moore, Molly Ringwald, Emilio. Emilio. Uh, and. I'm trying. I can't think of the guy's name off the top of my head now. Uh, McCarthy, I think his last name is. But in in the mid '80s, they had that you know Saint Elmo's Fire and Breakfast Club and all those. Like they never wanted. They didn't. What call, was the one? Was it graffiti? American graffiti. That's before that, the Brat. Pack. Was it? That okay. was Richard. But that Dreyfus. had like all of them, wasn't no. it? No. The Outsiders. The Outsiders. That's what it was. The Outsiders was the first, like, beginning of it. But then there was, you know, what was it? No Way Out or whatever it was where uh, Robert Downey Jr. was blowing the dudes in the bathroom at one point for blow. And What? Yeah, that's, that's a fucking dark movie. Dark movie. Dark. But no, it, it was cool because... You found out why they weren't. They didn't name themselves the Brat Pack. Yeah, it was a article in the New Yorker, and they hated it. They hated that name because it was when in in Hollywood at that time it was the the old guard changing to the newer stars. Yeah, so, the younger. Yeah, so of course, of course, the old generations like all oh, these fucking young kids taking all of our taking all the fucking roles. Easy, sleepy. I know. I'm so tired. Don't you dare. I know it's so bad. I'm so tired. It's okay. But <laughs> it was it was interesting. It, it really was because it was like they were uh, getting rid of the stigma that they they thought it was you know they thought it was a bad thing and now they're looking back at it and they're like, no, not really. I mean, some of them hung out together, but most of them just worked on movies. And like they were talking about when Demi came in for, oh, I forgot what fucking movie it was, but she was like fresh out of rehab from the old uh, snorts. I feel like I need. To... Oh, I hit it. I'm sorry. That was me swinging my feet. What an asshole you are. You know. No. I was just over here trying to keep sabotaging, to keep moving. Just two days in a row, just ruining. Fucking t- that's it. I'm uh, out of here. Nah. And I'm just like moving my feet. I'm so fucking tired. It's so bad. Guy, you know, not all of our fucking shows are a home run. <laughs> so bad. You know what I mean? There's, you know, we have shows that we struggle a little bit. Yeah. But this it, might be a short one. Can short I just let you guys not struggle? Can I go to bed? You want to go to bed? I'm so tired. I mean, sure. It's up to you, hon. If you want to dip out, Jeff and I could carry. I know you guys can. So. Because we could go deep into stuff that you don't give a shit about. Right. Yeah. No, I'm already sensing that happening right now. So Yeah, we started talking about hard knocks and your, yeah, eye, your I, eyes started rolling I, back I, in your I head. I was like, I'm going to go to bed now. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. But, but no, it was, you know, it was a good night. It was, we have we we every time we go out though usually is a good night. We don't really ever have too many. Tonight was fun though. Is it just a random? It was random. Awesome night. It was just yeah. like mm-hmm. I said. Everybody was in a good mood. We were all jovial. Jolly, jolly. I'm gonna take my headphones off now. All right. Not angry. No. <laughs> Not angry. All right. Bring those cats down here. I'm not, no. Kayla, they're in the room. No, the cats are going to stay up there until, uh, well, until you bring them back down. All right. Hi, Kayla. Go. 
Night night. Good night. I won't lock you out this time, I promise. <laughs> She's just gonna put three <laughs> gates up <laughs> with padlocks on. You know them. I can't get those past those Let gates. Get rid of my garbage. Oh Not my lord. Me. So yes, as a Bear fan, we're happy about Hard Knocks. Very excited. I'm super pumped. I, it's, you know, I kind of say it every year, and and it started last year with the culture being different. Like you could see it, like the guys on the sidelines were having fun, even losing games. They were still there. Yeah. It was. It was. It was starting to look like a team, and we haven't had that in a while. <sighs> Like back in the day, it was always defense versus offense, but now it's no. Like, and I think with Caleb Williams joining the team, it's got a certain. Uh, well, you know, when you when you have a number one quarterback, the consensus number one for how long, however long he, you know, since oh, he was at when he was at Oklahoma, he was being talked about being the number one quarterback. Yeah, and he was wasn't the number one quarterback on that team. No. So, yeah, it's in. I'll be the first one to say it. I've probably said it on this podcast. I thought he was going to be a bust just because of. But then I start. You draft him, so you're like, okay, I have to get behind the guy. But then I started actually listening to his interviews and listening to some of the shit that he's talking. And he's the first thing he said was, "I cannot wait to get to Hallis Hall to start learning, my meeting my teammates." So he, he, like, is a leader. And I hope so. Jesus. Like I said, I mean, we're bear we're fans. We're thirsty. We're bear fans, and we... We're dying. We really want something to happen. You know, <laughs> we 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 always feel like we're, like, right on the cusp, and mm-hmm. then something just fucking explodes and just kills us. Yeah. So... Yeah, I'm. I'm excited. Like you said, it's the lull of sports. I mean, obviously, a lot of things are happening. They got the Stanley Cup playoffs, but with both of those NBA series, playoffs, both of those series are at three to three and one now. Next game, it's over. Yeah, I'm sorry. It, it. I mean, if Edmonton and if Dallas can win the next games, awesome. Hell yeah, keep it going because it gives me something. Yeah. It's. I, li- I listen to the Pat McAfee show every day at work because it's it's like anybody who, li- like, you used to listen to uh, Waddle and Sylvie all the mm-hmm. time. So McAfee's my Waddle and Sylvie. And it's and the reason why I like, because they cover a little bit more than just the Chicago aspect yeah. of it. I like, I love football. I love the NFL. I love college football. But I love the NFL. I can, wa- I can watch NFL football games all day. And not get sad about it. And it's not because, oh, hey, I play fantasy. Because my me playing fantasy is fucking horrible. I suck. Or or whatever happens is I just end up, my team just doesn't perform. I've never done fantasy. Because I don't want to, I don't want the commitment of the fantasy. It's like a fucking part-time job, basically, right? Well, this year at the draft, if you would like to come, you I, don't have to pay anything. I would. You don't. You don't have to pay anything. You can. You'll be my second. All right. We'll we'll talk. We'll we'll put a team together to see. I mean, you got time. You can do a little research now. I mean, you don't have to go watch. A, I don't want a second job. <laughs> don't want a first job. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want any job. But no, it's. And I've been in this league now for fuck. It's got to be a decade. And all the guys that are in the league, I mean, they're, they're all older. So, and it's it's cool because I get to see Larry and Larry, my old boss, who you can you can ask anybody. It, we I really wish we would we would have had the best content ever. We would got canceled so quick because yeah. Larry would get tuned up, and uh, I had about. 13 nicknames. It started with Magilla, Magilla the Gorilla, Mm -hmm. which was always funny to me because obviously I'm six foot four and 277 pounds right now. So I'm a large human being. 
So, yeah, I, I get the Megillah the Gorilla thing. But then when Larry get shimmed up, it'd be taco tits and fucking... <laughs> <laughs> like, that's why I laugh when, you know, oh, why didn't you cancel so-and-so or cancel... Because their opinion doesn't like, fucking yeah. matter to me. Like, all these people going back and listening to old Eminem tracks and like, oh, we got to cancel Eminem. He's, you know... Shut up. It's like, have you listened? If you don't like it, don't well, watch it. Well, his new it. song that came out, everyone was like, oh my God, I can't believe you said this and this and this. And it's like, have you ever listened to Eminem before? Well, that, the shit's fucking wild. The line, the Megan the Stallion line is <laughs> fucking hilarious. The shoot at, shoot, shoot at that feet. Yeah. I have never laughed harder at a fucking song. <laughs> Just because of the, you know, it's, Eminem has very good punchlines. Like, Eminem could be a roast comic. Yeah. Which, did you watch the Harlan Williams verse uh, from Kill Tony? Mm. Uh, what's his name? David Lucas. Harlan Williams was the most <laughs> unassuming roaster I have ever fucking seen in my life. It was fucking hilarious. He just kept hammering him. Because David Lucas started, he's like, oh, Harlan Williams has, like, crockpot to go shut up. Yeah. He's like, you're the only person I've ever seen that had muffin top fucking over your shoes. (laughs) (laughs) It's like those shoes used to be elevator, and now they're flattened out. And then, it, then the next line was, or he's like, everybody's got Lyme disease. He's got key Lyme pie disease. <laughs> and I love a good roast. I love that kind of humor. Yeah. Just cutting. You're not cutting them down. You're, you're hitting them hard, but you're yeah. not fucking destroying them. You're not, you know, oh, that's why your wife left you and shit like that. Yeah, right. You know, trauma building shit. You're just, what well, was the one line was, uh, I thought he had the Monster Energy logo tattooed on his stomach. That's just a stretch marks. <laughs> <laughs> no, people are too sensitive. I, I, It's turning around. I can see it. On a good path. It's... Good path. It's the it's that generation the, the the one generation, the cancel culture and the protesting everything and <laughs> guess what? Your liberal college is telling you a lot of things that it's not how the fucking real world is. Jesus, it really is. I mean, it's 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 not. Like these schools, they make you take classes that you fucking don't even need because it's they're getting more money out of you. It's like, oh yeah, I wanted to do for photography, yeah, but I had to take AP calculus. Mm-hmm. Dude, I'm fucking looking in the line and clicking a button. Why the <laughs> fuck do I need calculus? You know. That makes no sense to me. I'm down for it all. It's a journey. It's a journey, man. It is, but if you're aiming, we're not here for a long time. We're here for a good time, right? There's only so many. Say. There's only there's only so much sand in your hourglass, and you mm-hmm. can't put that shit in there. So let's go. Enjoy it. Do a podcast. Do what you want. Make hey. shoes. Make shirts. We do the, we do this shit because we're friends. We're funny. I mean, we are. To us, we are. And we like, in doing this, yes, do I want us to be big? Of course I do. I want us to be fucking huge. I want us to fucking be able to do this full time. You know, create content, fucking just be into, not have to fucking answer to anybody but us when it comes to work yeah just create a freedom and just and being able to be happy 
Because, dude, I don't care who you are. If you're punching a clock, you really aren't happy. Oh, I love my job. No, you, you don't. <laughs> it's very rare. Yeah. Some people do, but it's well, very rare to find someone who actually loves like when you, like, their job. Well, my kids, so they work at one place, and my, my kids have uh, two jobs right now. And uh, they love the one place. They don't really like the other place. Yeah. And I was like, well, then you're fucking young, dude. Quit quit the other place. You're too young to hate going into work. You have your whole life to hate to go to work. Yeah. and Quit that job. Go to the fun one. And, and, I mean, no. <laughs> and working in the service in- industry, and I believe everybody at one point in their life should have to work in the service industry. You don't have to be a bartender, but you you know work retail, deal with oh, people, yeah. deal. I, that's a a big thing. Is I don't think anybody deals with people anymore. A lot of people can hide behind a keyboard and talk a lot of shit, but you meet them yeah. face to face, they won't say a fucking word to you. Well, it's getting to the point where you don't have to deal with anyone, right? I mean, you call something, it's automated. I mean, you're not talking to an actual person. We're we're um, we're losing our humanity. Even like the video games, it's all online. You're not getting your ass beat. Yeah, it's by a friend sitting right next to you. Yeah, and then in real life, you're never gonna say the n word to a black dude. No, but and, they love and, saying it on Call of Duty. And and not get. The ramifications, <laughs> but it's like I said, you know, I used to love when I, you know, oh, you suck. I'm like, sorry, I love pussy more than I love video games. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I'd say it's that's the best video game there is. I don't give a fuck what anybody <laughs> says. That shit's the best. It's the most fun. Yeah, so uh, log off, unplug your Touch some fucking grass. Let's go. We're having a pool party tomorrow, Father's Day. We're getting outside. 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 I might be sleeping in. (laughs) I'm going to sleep in, for sure. I'm sweating so bad right now. (laughs) I'm so hammered right now. Ah, It's a good time. It was... I had a great time hanging out with our fucking South African brothers tonight. Nice dudes. What a weird, just random. I heard his accent and I was like, what? Where are you from? It's like South Africa. And I was like, what brought you to this tiny little town in Wisconsin? Rural Wisconsin. Yeah. Just what a weird, random, cool. And I mean, he was he was wearing the uniform, too. He was Caterpillar head to toe, Mm -hmm. except for the shorts. Yeah. Shoes, shirt, hat, all cat, which was great. I loved it. I thought it was awesome. But it was it was one of those things, too. It was like, I can't, when I got there, because I got there, obviously I got there after you guys did. And when uh, they saw me, they were like, whoa. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, it's a big dude. That's the biggest white dude I've seen in a while. <laughs> I mean, everybody at the bar tonight was was pretty goddamn mellow. Even the people I was talking for to. the most part, it was a good night. There's always there's always the vindictive dildos out there that are following the same path their dad followed because their dad followed their grandfather and their grandfather followed their gra- yeah. their fucking dad and so on and so forth. Bro, people are people. It doesn't matter the fucking color of your skin. Mm. It's you're not gonna get along with some people. I know for a fact. Well, especially drinking at a bar. Yeah. And and dudes are just you. You you go to a bar to have a good time. You don't go to a bar to fucking be a. Well, shit. most people. Well, that's my view on it, at least. Yeah, I'm not going to the bar going like, "Fuck yeah, we're fighting tonight." <laughs> It's fight night. No, it's not. 
It's have a cocktail, listen to some music, meet some new people, shoot the shit. I mean, I was talking to everybody tonight. Yeah, see where it goes. Adventures. You know, it was it was a good time. I didn't expect to be talking to the people I was talking to tonight. And those make for good nights. Yeah. So, live your life. Salute. 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 No, it's... Don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone when it comes to people. Because everybody's got a story. Everybody wants to tell it. Mm Mm-hmm. No matter how dark it may be. or Listen. Everybody just wants to uh, be treated with respect. You reciprocate. You, you, you fucking get out what you put in. Mm-hmm. And if you put out nothing but fucking shit, <laughs> all you're going to get back in return is shit. Yeah. Energy, right? Yeah. You know, yeah, I, we joke all the time with PMA. Because there's times where I have to like really reel it in. Because, <laughs> dude, I get you know. There's times where I just get fucking angry and don't know why. Yeah. Kind of deal. And, and that's all past bullshit that you know swirls up and. You can let it be your anchor, or you can fucking use it as rocket fuel. And I'm starting, the older I get, the more... Rocket fuel. more rocket fuel I have than, oh, I'm a piece of shit. Because <laughs> I'm not. I'm a good person. I can, I can look at myself in the mirror and say I'm a good person. Mm-hmm. I can look in the mirror now and say, hey, I like the person I am. Because I do. Well, good. Because I have... You should. I have a good group of people around me. Purposely. Yeah, the older you get, the uh, the more you weed out the bad apples, right? Yeah. I mean... For sure. It's... There's people that were friends with... That I was friends with that... I don't need to be friends with anymore. Because they're doing the same thing. Over and over and repeating history mm-hmm. and wonder why they have issues and wonder why this isn't working out. And they blame everybody but themselves. You can't live like that because guess what? It's your life. And it's now or never. <laughs> and we're not going to live forever, right? Easy Bon Jovi. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm sweating balls. We got to end this. Uh, I mean, we got 15 minutes. All right. We can do 15 minutes more. I'm so hot. I'm so hammered. Just take your shirt off. Let them Should I? Out. We'll get kicked off YouTube for yeah, nudity. <laughs> it was a great night, though. I had a fun night tonight. Yeah, it was. And we're going to have a fun night tomorrow. Well, well a fun, fun day. Fun day. Yeah, we can, we can do a shorty this week. I'm all right with that. There, honestly, besides tonight, really nothing went on this week. In, in- Not really. Just uh, the boys came out. Super pumped about that. Mm-hmm. Um, I only watched the first episode. I think they released three. Did they? I, Big I, fan I, of the boys. I like that show. I got to get back into it because I really did like the first season. The second season kind of, like the midway point, I kind of just... Lost interest. Oh no, yeah, it's it's a it's a wild, wild show. I really enjoy it. So uh, yeah, just watch the boys, Game of Thrones, dragons, whatever House of Dragons comes out uh, tomorrow. So super pumped about that. I'm glad you are. <laughs> You're I, not. I never got into Game of Thrones. Yeah. So it, it's one. Of those- I did. And I got Kayla into it, which was awesome. So, uh, I think I may go back and watch The Sopranos, though. That's one I never watched, and I need I need to. 
Yeah, that's, I think, uh, like, a couple of years ago, I rewatched all of Entourage. And I liked that show. I really did like Entourage. I thought that was a, a lot of people shit on it and whatever, but. I liked that a lot. I thought it was, and I liked it because it reminds me of. Hanging out with your friends. Hanging out with your boys. And if, and if you do get famous, bring your, bring the ones that you know with you well it was a lot too about uh i mean uh just a group of friends and all of them were just different different personalities yeah. and then they kind of all went and in, uh into the side stories and i liked entourage a lot that's why i like our friendship because obviously yin and yang with you and i yeah i'm fly off the handle fucking yeah, st- strangle somebody and you're hey man Let's go get Taco Bell. Mellow. Yeah, Mellow. it's in. And, and honestly, adding Kayla to our the mix is awesome. I'm so happy she started doing the podcast yeah. with us. Because not last night, but <laughs> I was honestly, there's some clips from last night that would, <laughs> would solid gold would would be pretty For sure. fucking funny. But it's, we have a good mix. I love when we have people come in. I have no problem. Whoever wants to be on the podcast, call us. We'll set up a date. Yeah. Send us a message on Instagram or on uh, the old YouTube. Yeah, it's fun mixing it up. Gilly was fun as shit. That was a, that was a fun one. Uh, BJ, when BJ comes on, it's great. Yeah. I can't wait for our other friends to come on. I really... And shout out to BJ because uh, he brought his uh, pet raccoon over here tonight. <laughs> they got to meet Wrecker. Wrecker the raccoon on Instagram. Go follow him. Go give. Go help BJ out. Yeah. No, it's we got a good thing building here, and I'll and I'll always say that. And I don't give a shit if you don't know us. And you're watching, you're like, oh, this is the most boring podcast ever. Yeah, probably. But we're talking about our life experiences and how eventually it something might hit you that could change your way of thinking. Yeah. Because like I said, man, being a miserable prick isn't fun. Well, don't. Just don't. Well, no, it's, and I'm not just, I'm not saying. It's a choice, me. right? Yeah, it's just, mm, there's, now. you can, you can fucking live your life just hating the world, but realize you're the one who put yourself in that situation. You could get your guts ripped out every fucking day by somebody. If you just tell them, hey, fuck you. And get, get that toxic person out of your life. Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? Just get that toxic person. You, you know, family can be toxic too. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, so I mean. Well, that's why friends are important because they're your chosen family, right? Exactly. And you have, you build relationships with people that you, your energies match. I'm oh, a big uh, matching energy guy. kind of All right, thing. Cool. Yeah. Because you can you can see negative, like you tonight you could look through that bar and there's people there that you wouldn't have a conversation with. Yeah, because you know it's going to turn into something stupid. Or you can drink beers, do shots with two dudes from South Africa. That was fun. And one had to put himself to bed. Oh yeah, he did. He won that night. Speaking of putting it to bed, that's what we're going to do here. Because we're at uh, 48 minutes. Short and sweet. Short and sweet. Short and sweet. We'll be back uh, next week with more. We'll be back next week. Possibly with a guest. Possibly with a more wonderful life experience stories. Yeah. Daddy Samard. Maybe one of us will lose a finger. Who knows? No, we're not doing that. <sighs> I mean, we could. It would be good content. BME Pain Games. Remember that shit? Pain Games. But thank you guys for listening. And uh, yeah, we're just going to keep doing this. Because...
We have the power. For Jeff, for Kayla, I am Sean. Thanks again for listening. Thanks again for hanging out with us. We'll be back again next week with another fun-filled episode. And don't forget, if you're looking for a new energy source, go to w.gg, I believe it is. Use the code TGDPOD and get 10% off of anything you buy. Go over to Kicks and Canvas underscore 223. Check out Jeff's work and uh, message him if you want to get some shoes made. And of course, once again, small town infamous dot my spreadshop dot com. Yeah. For all of my goofy ass t shirt designs that you might like some of them, you might hate some, but whatever. Buy a fucking shirt. Get a shirt. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next week. Thanks again, guys. Love you.